This is a 10 minute preview of my GIMPED Premium video tutorial. To watch the full video, click on the link below and sign up for GIMPED Premium. So to make the uh, lightning look more realistic, we actually need to add the white in the center. You know, because real lightning actually looks white with a blue edge. So to do that, all we have to do is right click on our current lightning layer and click duplicate layer because what we're doing is we're essentially just keeping the layer mask and then just replacing this blue color with the color white. So click select all, click on the bucket tool, uh, switch over to the color white and make sure you are set to fill whole selection and fill it in. And what it's going to do is it's going to create the white and then the gray areas is going to show the blue edge through. And believe it or not, that's all it takes. Um, but look here, there's a little problem here. And in order to fix that, we have to now change both layer masks, which is kind of a nuisance. And that's also why I wanted to make sure that you you make your tweaks before you actually reach the point to where you need to do things like that. Because it's just, it's just inconvenient. Um, in fact, if you're going to do any major changes, I recommend just deleting the layer, changing the layer mask, duplicating it, and redoing that whole process again. It's just easier than trying to edit both masks exactly the same. Okay, so there's the first lightning bolt. Now what we're going to start working on is the rest of the lightning bolts that were actually shooting out of her fingers. If you look over on the original one, you'll see, let me actually turn on all these layers again. If you look at the original one, you'll see that the uh, her fingers had a couple of lightning bolts shooting out of them, and making those is, uses a relatively or quite a similar process, really. But um, I'm going to teach you how to kind of control the direction of the lightning bolt. You know, our first bolt was pretty much on its own; it, it just kind of made itself randomly, and we just kind of worked with it. Um, but these smaller ones, they need to be much more focused and directed. You know, this one I told it to curve. I showed it where to go. Same with these ones. I told them to curve. Okay, to create that mood, moody blue color and the, the really sharp contrast that I created in this image, I used a series of two layers. And that's what we're going to create next. So first, just right click on a layer and click New Layer. And name this layer Blue Mood. And then move it to the top. Fill that layer in with a color blue. Specifically, the color I used was this HTML notation here, 004F9E. If you type that in to this box here, it'll give you the exact same color I used. So click OK. And now click on the bucket fill tool, which is over here, or hit Shift B, and fill that entire layer with that blue color. And then set the layer mode to overlay. And there you go. That's the first step in creating this moody effect. Now, to create the extra contrast, we're going to create a, a all black layer that's going to make a lot of this stuff darker. So right click and again click new layer and name this one um, contrast. And then fill it in with the color black. And set its layer mode to overlay as well. And with that, you now have, as you can see, a quick comparison the uh, the contrast that this one has. And then last but not least we're going to add one more layer because the problem is is you know this this blue mood layer added a lot of the bluish color to it but it, it really didn't change some of it as well as I had hoped it would. So to fix that we're going to actually remove some of the color from this image. So just right click and click new layer again and name this one color and make sure it's underneath both the blue mood and the contrast layers. Fill it in with the color black and set its layer mode to color. And then pull its opacity back just, just a little bit. Um, let me check and make sure I'm giving you guys the right information here. Yeah, I actually pulled mine back to about 50%. So right about there. And as you can see now it, it looks a lot more blue. Here it is. Here's what it looked like without that color layer, and here's what it looks like with it. So it, it still looks, you can still tell there's color in it, but it's a lot stronger. Of it. it really strengthens the blue mood effect. 
So next up we're going to focus on pulling some of the the data back in this image. You know, like a lot of her cloak was lost whenever we added this contrast layer here. And there's some information that we want to keep there. So if you look back over at our original, a lot of this is still quite bright. So we're gonna we're gonna work on adding all of that back into it. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to start creating the uh, the the brightness on the actual iris itself. So to do that, we're just going to actually right click on our layer and click new layer. I just had to I had to check and make sure I was thinking right, um, and then click on the bucket fill tool and fill it in with the color white and set it to overlay and again this is another one of those times where we're kind of we're, we're making this a different layer even though we're doing the same exact thing just simply because we want to um, keep the opacity bars independent of one another and then just set it to black full transparency and click add click on your paintbrush tool switch over to the color white and then just kind of color in the iris and then switch over to the color black and get rid of the color from the pupil and then the outer edge just make sure you kinda of get rid of you don't want too much color in that center there or the edge and then zoom out and you'll notice that that one eye on the, on the right is quite a bit brighter than the one on the left and we're just gonna do the same exact thing with a left eye. But first let's let's just finish up this eye all together and then we'll go from there. So now we're going to right click and add another new layer and again we're going to fill it in with the color white and set it to the layer mode overlay. And I'm going to close this because I'm starting to get a lot of layers so it's starting to bog down the computer a bit. Okay so now just right click and add a layer mask and this time we're gonna add that crazy star look into the eye that really really makes them pop out and to do that it's all in the layer mask so just right click and click add layer mask set it to black full transparency and click add and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create this the right pattern that will actually create streaks inside of the eye and if you've already watched the uh, eye making tutorial that I linked below you probably already know what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to cl click on the lasso tool here, or the, <laughs> the free select tool, and then I'm just going to click filters, noise, um, RGB noise, and then crank that up, click OK, and then hover over the center of the pupil, and down here you'll see there's a set of coordinates, and you're going to take note of those numbers because we're going to need that in a minute. So if you click blur, motion blur, and set it to zoom, and you crank up the length a little bit, and then you hover over this, it says 2878 by 750. So if you set the X at 2878 and then 750, it's going to put the center of the pupil as the center point for this blur. Then you click OK, and it creates that, that blur that we want. The problem is, is it's not strong enough of an effect. So we click colors, levels, and we're going to crank those levels up, or actually down and up, until we get that really, really crazy high contrast between the two. And then click OK. And then just get rid of the extra stuff around the outer edge by clicking on our paintbrush tool, coloring in the color black around the outer edge. And again, short brush strokes is always the way to go. Just remove all that. And then again in the center of the pupil click a couple times to get rid of it in the middle and there you go just like that you've got that really crazy eye look.